This past week saw the release of the Netflix documentary Jimmy Savile, A British Horror Story. Whilst this is a very important story to tell, and it does need to be told, I feel like it was a wasted opportunity. The documentary is in two parts. Part one basically brings the American audience up to speed on how big of a personality Savile was in the UK. Part two then digs into a part of what happened before completely glossing over the fallout. The National Health Trusts in the UK started inquiries into what went on in the hospitals and what was recorded was in totally different territory to what the Netflix documentary covers. If you compare the reports between the Leeds General Infirmary on the screen above with what appears in the documents on Stoke Mandeville Hospital below, understanding what public information is out there on the UK's own government websites, it looks like the documentary went, you know what, we'll just stick with the paedophile aspect of this story, as that's bad enough. And it is bad. There's no excusing what Savile did. And I have to be careful not to dilute or accidentally normalise that when bringing up my next point. As bad as that was, there is a number of very large elephants in the room, which the British are very well aware of, but the Netflix documentary basically glossed over. Elephant number one was how people within the BBC at the time had in effect enabled Savile. It was like an open secret that nobody acted on out of fear for their own jobs. This eventually came back to shake the BBC to its very core in a way that even in 2022 I don't think that the British public trust the BBC in a way like they used to. Elephant number two is the police inquiries. The Netflix documentary mentions that the West Yorkshire Force and the Surrey Force did inquiries, but in the case of West Yorkshire Police they concluded that they just made some small error whilst Surrey had in fact misled victims into thinking they were uh, the only ones, they were alone. However, even as far back as 2013, Her Majesty's uh, Inspectorate of Constabulary, known as HMIC, released a report. In that report they outlined just how messed up West Yorkshire Police was when people knew the stories and the police were taking the allegation letters about Savile and basically storing them out of sight. The Netflix documentary really glossed over the police involvement here, basically putting up one screen that says the force investigated itself and found no wrongdoing. Transatlantic culture is always difficult to understand on opposite sides of the ocean, but the UK changed after Savile. Not just with Operation Utree, which was also conveniently omitted from the documentary, but also having spent an hour of the first episode building up what Savile was in UK pop culture, then missed out how the loss of childhood innocence for millions was nuked in a matter of a year between Savile, Hall and Harris and Page and so on. For many, their childhood heroes were now never to be spoken of again. Again, not trying to dilute what happened to the victims here, and we have to be very, very careful not to do that. This was absolutely heinous. But there's another huge loss here, and that definitely didn't get a mention. Let me tell you, you really are missing something. In fact, you're missing everything. 